Whew. We got Metroids flying around in this video. Intro, bro. Oh, oh we have a terrible Reggie Fils of me. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items for this video but before we get started i have to remind you guys we are doing a console giveaway giving away a switch oled console in october how do you enter subscribe to the channel click that subscribe button right now and follow me on Twitter also 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 you already know make sure you give the video a big thumbs up like 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 all right, bro I Like what Nintendo has been doing with the updates for Metroid Dread our first news item a couple of new tidbits have been shared by Nintendo uh, concerning Metroid Dread and they're pretty cool first you may have noticed the color of Samus's um, suit. Nintendo has revealed that Samus's suit has changed quite a bit in Metroid Dread. Since becoming a sleek organic suit during the events of Metroid Fusion, it is gradually refer reverting to its original mechanical power suit state. So, what we're actually looking at is the suit transforming for that white color to possibly the full um power suit the the typical golden uh, yellow blue color it's transforming so maybe maybe as you progress during the game her suit may change also nintendo tweeted this out yesterday internet went a little crazy but if you've been following the series you sort of already knew this but Nintendo has confirmed at the time of Metroid Dread, the Metroids no longer exist. That's right. At the time of uh, Metroid Dread, during the setting of this game, the Metroids are extinct. I don't know what this dude is doing in my video because he's supposed to be dead. But uh, that's cool to know. For those of you who do know, though, Samus really is a Metroid because um, she has been gene genetically fused with the Metroid's DNA. So in reality, she is the last surviving Metroid. So who knows? Maybe some kind of alien um, story plot twist and she gives birth to a Metroid. One of these things. Crazy stuff. Oh, the possibilities. But I thought this was cool. Metroid Dread. Um, game is going to be dope. Launching October. Day one by easy. Also, also, before we get to the next news item, and Nintendo has a pretty cool website, Metroid.Nintendo.com. And it just talks all about uh, Metroid Dread, the Metroid franchise in general. So if you want to get caught up, uh, go and check that out. All right. The next news item, bro. The Steam Deck seems to be off to a pretty good start. If you've been living under a rock for the past uh, week or so, the Steam Deck is what many are saying, what the Switch Pro should have been. Super powerful handheld device. And it comes in three models. Different memory, um, faster solid state drives and whatnot. But... It's now been reported this priciest option, the top of the line Steam Deck, is sold out until 2023, which is crazy. Valve has announced, this is coming from LaptopMag.com, that Steam Deck's priciest configuration 
will be sold out until 2023. Bro, you're gonna have to wait two more years to get the top of the end um, configuration for this device, which is pretty interesting. I really, that lets me know they didn't really produce that many of this console. And I think this is gonna be more of a niche, just a, a luxury item. I don't think I do not think it's going to outsell the switch. I may do a separate video talking about it. Um, I've talked about it before, but to probably go into more detail. But uh, the Steam Deck sold out until 2023. So if you didn't get one within the first day of it releasing, and that's the option you wanted, you out of luck, bro. Just saying, bro. The next news item: controversy. <laughs> on this game psychonauts 2 bro check this out psychonauts 2 is a xbox studio game it's also going to be launching on the playstation platform because the game was crowdfunded before um xbox bought a double fine but the controversy is the game is being intentionally nerfed for the PlayStation 5 version of the game. Watch this, and this is how you know why. <laughs> the Xbox Series X version is running at a full 4K, 120 frames per second. PS5 version, <laughs> 1440p, 60 frames per second. And come on, you trying to tell me <laughs> this game <laughs> that looks like a PlayStation 3 game <laughs> can't do 4k of the ps5 and it is the the note does say that it's the ps4 version running in backwards compatibility on the ps5 so there really isn't even a ps5 version they just bumped up the ps4 version to 60 frames per second and i know dudes are saying well it's because the crowdfunding was for the ps4 version but if they could put in some some kind of work to allow the PS5 version to run at 60, they could have. This game could have ran at 120 frames on the PS5. They could have done it. But, and so they can say Xbox Series X has the best version of this game. But come on, bro. Now, this is the, just, I've always said this since this game was first revealed. The game doesn't look good, man. It does not look like a um, good game. Um, I know Psychonauts has a loyal fan base, but graphically, and I say graphically, the gameplay might be spot on, but graphically, you play something like Ratchet and Clank, and then you play this, or even Sackboy. Sackboy, a big adventure. Uh, the graphics in Sackboy, big adventure, run circles around this. So, controversy on the internet, dudes are tight. Xbox um, intentionally holding back uh, the PlayStation version of the game because even the PS this is how I know they're intentionally nerfing uh, the PlayStation versions of the game the PS4 Pro version of this game runs at 30 frames per second really really <laughs> so <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> but that's tough now imagine if Xbox, I mean, if PlayStation did the same thing with MLB, you know, MLB is a PlayStation studio and they say, you know what? We're going to nerf the Xbox version to 30 frames per second. I thought it was funny. All right. Next news item. If you've had Pokemon Unite on your radar, this is a free to play MOBA type Pokemon game coming out on the switch tomorrow the game launches tomorrow but you can preload the game today 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 i'm gonna preload it it's a free-to-play game so i might as well try it out i am got nothing to lose but time all right and the last news item skyward sword zelda legend of zelda skyward sword seems to be off to a pretty good start it has taken the top spot on the uk charts 
um, with the first um, sale numbers um, coming out. And it is the best selling game currently in the UK. And I saw one site that was saying it looks like it's going to outsell the original uh, Wii version, which is pretty good. And all of these Switch um, first party titles have been breaking records. So I won't be surprised if this does, in fact, outsell the original uh, copy of the game. All right, dudes, those are all of the news items for today. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, bruh.